So the next thing that we're going to need to do is create a test suite. So now that we have our three resources here, uh, we're going to need to create right click on the service again, generate test suite, and just take the defaults there, it's fine, and hit OK, give it a name, I think that name is fine, hit OK. So now we have a test suite. Let's close some of these windows so that we're a little cleaner here. All right. So down here you can see this folder. So this is a test suite folder. Uh, test suites contain many test cases. So this is a test case, all the ones with the check marks. And the test cases all include test steps. So test steps, if you think of them in manual testing terms, is like open this URL, go to this page, do something. So in for API testing, it's it's kind of similar. Kind of just the just the steps are different. So you might do something like. Uh, make this request and then make another request and then verify that the the response was correct based on the two requests. So uh, SOPUI has gone ahead and created all these things for each of the resources. So we have a request in each. So you'll notice that in the test test case uh, test step, you have this tab down here called assertions. Uh, this assertions tab is basically your validation point. So uh, there's lots of assertions you can use. Um, you can look through the different ones that are available. Um, the ones that I most commonly use are contains. So this is looking for the response body to see if it contains a certain value that you're looking for. And also valid HTTP status code. So this is you will put a status code in there and then it will make sure that that status code is returned. So uh, another thing to point out here is, remember how we created uh, the parameter in the project? That gets m copied over here. So let me show you something real quick. So if I go back into the request, if I add another parameter, uh, let's say test param, and I'll call this template also. So if I do that and I go back to the test case, you will see that that parameter is automatically added. So no matter how many test steps that you have, that all the parameters from the project will be added to the test step. That's why it's very important that you have this kind of structure. So let me close this again. Let me, let me get rid of this since we don't need that. OK. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. So jump over to the JSON tab. So you can see here is a list of uh, items that you can choose from. So let's throw a value in here. Let's put one. So one is master ball. Uh, let's run this again. So you can see that it gives you information about the master ball now. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see ID equals one. So remember, ID or name. So I put the ID in there. So we return that. So name is up here, master ball. So let me copy this. So open assertions, click that, plus contains, and then I'm going to paste master ball in there. Hit OK. Notice that the green light turned on. That means that it found uh, the text that you pasted in there. Uh, watch what happens if I if I change it to master balls. So now there's no match, so it, cha it changed to red. So let me change that back. So that's good. And then if you look at the raw, you can see the HTTP status here. So I'm just going to grab that 200 and do a new assertion for the HTTP status code. 200, so good, it matches. Uh, what happens if it doesn't match? So I'm going to do 204. So now it turns red, so same thing. So this is how you do your assertions. And that's basically it. So uh, this is just a rinse and repeat process. Uh, you, you create your project, you create your resources uh, with your methods, add parameters. From there, you create your test suite uh, and your test cases. So you're going to spend a lot of time in the test case area, obviously. Uh, and and in the test steps area. So you're going to create lots of test cases with lots of test steps inside of them. And uh, when you're all done, uh, 
you can just go to the test case level and run them individually or you can go to the suite level and just hit that play button and it will run the test cases from every single uh, for every single resource that you have here so every single test case that you have it will run for that for that uh, test suite pretty easy alright thanks guys